You know, the problem is, there are so many bad people in our country. It's a disaster. Very, very bad people. Ich habe gerade gestern wieder mit meinem Kabinett zusammengesessen. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is. It's your boy, Gay Shady Shady, one and only. And today, guys, we are back again. Today, guys, we are going to check out more Kristen Erin and Donald Trump. The Donald, okay, the Donald. So far, we've been getting uh, entertained by it, okay, by the German satire, comedy, crazy stuff, guys. Anyway, without speaking too much English, okay, guys, today we are going to jump on this right away. And also, guys, also, I'm actually thinking. Of visiting Germany for like two days but I'm really thinking of visiting Germany this time I want to make proper vlogs like a proper vlog from Germany okay because uh, I think I've not done justice to my German vlogs anyway that's too much guys today we're gonna go straight to action okay let's get this one started I'm just gonna smash like first Meine Damen und Herren, wir haben ihn heute mal wieder bei uns. Sie wissen, Trump mag die Medien eigentlich überhaupt nicht, aber für seine Lieblingssendung Extra 3 macht er hin und wieder eine Ausnahme. Herzlich willkommen, Donald Trump. Wir müssen exception for Extra 3, yeah? The Donald Trump is always about the fake media. Fake news. Fake news. Ich begrüße nicht minder herzlich unsere Dolmetscherin Kirstin Warnke. First of all, to be honest with you, I don't like your show. Ich mag Ihre Show nicht. The only reason I'm here is this very sexy lady here. Halt's Maul, Arschgeige. What does that mean, Arschgeige? Wait, Arschgeige? Arschgeige means... Uh, pardon my French, like a, when you call someone a dickhead. Basically, no? That's how you call a very smart and decent person. So nennt man einen sehr schlauen und anständigen Menschen. That's right, that's what I am. Okay, go on. Mr. Trump, dieser schlecht vorbereitete Gipfel in Hanoi hat ja dazu geführt, dass ein, ein, ein wirklich ekliger Diktator aufgewertet wurde. Viele kritisieren das und fragen sich, was sollte das? Es war seltsam. Ja, da, da malträtiert ein Mann sein eigenes Volk und sie nennen ihn einen großen Führer. Das war eigenartig. The summit with Kim Jong-un was weird. Sie haben sich mit einem Diktator angefreundet. You became friends with a dictator. And so did he, by the way. Kim auch. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Kim is a very nice guy. He's a great guy. I like him. As you would say in Germany, he's a real Arschgeige. Am Ende waren ja wirklich alle froh, dass da auch nichts unterzeichnet wurde. Auch die Republikaner haben gesagt, Gott sei Dank hat er nichts unterzeichnet. Das wäre ja noch schlimmer gewesen. Also diese ganze Gipfelinszenierung wirkt eigentlich im Nachhinein, es wirkt total seltsam, es wirkt albern. Ja, ich glaube, er wollte sich einfach nur den Stress zu Hause ersparen. Achso, Sie meinen, weil gleichzeitig Cohen vor dem Kongress mm. ausgesagt hat? Ja, es ging gar nicht um Atomwaffen. Trump wollte politisches Asyl. In Nordkorea? <lacht> In Nordkorea? Hey, what are you talking about? We, uh, we, uh, exactly. we, we were talking about Cohen. Uh, he's a liar. Don't believe him. He's a liar. Yeah, that's true. Very sad. But I love his music. Cohn ist ein Lügner, aber ich mag seine Musik. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know this song? It's, yeah. it's a great that's, song. I love that. That's the wrong Cohn, bro. That's the wrong Cohn. Oh my. Okay. That's all. But he's a liar. Believe me. I know he's a liar because I told him to lie. Ah, you told me. Ah, mm. also stimmt es, was Cohen gesagt hat? Sie haben ihn gezwungen zu lügen, und zwar täglich. Er musste täglich lügen. So is it true what Michael Cohen said? He had to lie for you every day? No, that's a lie. Look, he's a liar. Over the weekend, he didn't have to lie. So he didn't lie every day. That's why he's a liar. It's a lie. It's a liar. Also er, er ist ein Lügner, weil am Wochenende hatte er frei, und da hat er nicht gelogen. Also lügt er. Also was... Das ist ja gelogen, weil... It's so confusing. Ja, ich glaube... <lacht> I'm confused myself. Like, it's so confusing. No, to be honest, yeah, like I said, Trump, yeah, has very good intentions. Like, very good intentions, all right? <lacht> But it's his way of carrying it out. That is just his problem. That's just the only problem, I think, yeah. His way of carrying it out. But 
<lacht> anyway, let's continue, bro. <lacht> Mr. President, uh, Michael Cohen hat auch gesagt, uh, Sie seien ein Rassist. What, what, does he call me a racist? I'm not a racist. You know who always calls me a racist? Black people. They don't like me. Because they are so stupid. Ja, dann übersetze ich mal, ja, ich, Donald Trump, bin ein Rassist. <lacht> uh, wie, wie geht es denn nun weiter? Sie haben ja den uh, nationalen Notstand ausgerufen. You declared a national emergency. Oh, yes, I did. And by the way... It's the most beautiful national emergency <laughs> that has ever been declared by any president of the United States. It's fantastic. Ich, 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 ich. Hat er das gerade gesagt? Ja. You know, the problem is, there are so many bad people in our country. It's a disaster. Very, very bad people. Ich habe gerade gestern wieder mit meinem Kabinett zusammengesessen. Das I just got it. There are many, many, very, very bad people in my country. Very, very, very many bad people in my country. And she translated it. I sat with my cabinet. So the whole cabinet. That's not what you said. Doch. And that's why Doch. I'm going to build something huge, something tremendous, something strong out of war, of, of stone. Wall. Like you have in Germany. To make sure that no more foreigners can come to our country. Er weiß aber schon, dass es die Mauer nicht mehr gibt. Ja, er möchte den Berliner Flughafen nachbauen. So, uh, Christian, tell me, am I an Arschgeige or not? <laughs> yes, yes, you, you are. are. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah. Like, you see with Trump, yeah, you can keep on joking and joking and joking about it. Trump sets himself up, like, with the things he says, his mannerisms, it's just like a joke. Like, it seems like a joke, yeah. But I mean, yes, I know. I, if, you know what? Trump's, Trump's politics, yeah, is kind of confusing. Yeah, it's a bit kind of confusing. Like, he's not politically right, all right? He doesn't care about being politically correct at all. He just cares about like trying to bring out a solution, trying to get he doesn't care how he goes about it, he just goes directly to the point, yeah. But I think he's done quite a lot of good and also he's done quite a lot of very questionable things. Very many questionable things I'm like oh my days. Like even how he became a president, like the probability is fast and then somehow he was still cleared to become the president. I was like, okay, interesting. Alright. I mean like these days the way things are going on in this world, we can't really tell. But I think Trump just needs to be polished properly. Like he needs a public speaker. He needs someone that's just gonna assist him completely to help him here. Yeah. Otherwise, like he seems like a disaster. But to be honest, to be honest, I think I think Trump tried. I mean, you know what? He's done equally good and bad, I think. He's tried to bring the nation together and at the same time, he's sort of separated the nation at the same time. So his politics has been so confusing, I'm telling you, like Trump. Yeah, Trump is just entertainment. Like Trump is just entertainment. That's what I, that's what I think. That's what I think. Anyway, guys, do let me know what you think about this in the comment section. But anytime I see Trump on the anytime I see Trump on the topic comedy satire, I just know it's gonna be fun. Like it's gonna be complete fun. But I hope I'm not offending anybody, guys. Okay, this was just made for fun. This is a satire, so please, guys, take it with a pinch of salt. All right, guys. Anyway, love. Peace.